In this video, I want to talk about goals. Now, we are at the end of the year, so we're about to close out 2016 and go into 2017, and this is one of my favorite times of the year because, for me anyway, it's filled with a sense of excitement and enthusiasm and optimism about all the possibilities that are going to come in the following year, and that's what I want to have a discussion with you guys about in this video. Before we do, though, I have something really cool I want to show you, so come here and check this out. Okay. This is the Art of Photography page on Facebook. So the other day I posted this silly video which basically asked people what their best photo was from 2016. And I want you to see this down here. 325 replies and there were another 170 or something on the post I shared on, uh, on my profile. And check out the quality of the work that people are putting in. This is like crazy amazing. Like there's some outstanding pictures in here. There is some outstanding work, as you can see, and I'm really impressed. And I wanted to share that with you because when I was going through this thread and I realized that the, the level of talent that people have that watch this show, it's just really exciting. And I was really inspired by that. And I wanted to share some of that with you. I did not get to everybody. So if you submitted something and I didn't show it, there was no reason why I didn't. I really literally got 100 in and thought it's going to take me the rest of the year to get through all 300 plus of these, um, get them labeled and get them in. And it would be a really long video. So have no fear, there will be plenty of other chances to participate, so stay tuned. We've got a lot coming up with photo assignments. I'm about to announce the next assignment, so hope you guys got your journal started and that you're working with that. And uh, there'll be a lot coming up, and so I'm really excited. The second thing I posted yesterday, I put up a question, and I asked you guys what some of your photography goals in 2017 are. And it was really interesting, the range of responses that I got back. It was everything from I want to quit smoking and get into shape to I want to be a better photographer. Now, those are very wide goals, but worth pursuing just the same. And then there were things that were more specific. Um, there were things like I want to start shooting portraits this next year. And there were things like I want to get my work into galleries. And I think those are really specific goals. And so I want to have a discussion about goals because I think this is really important and it always has been for me. Let me clarify up front that I hate the term New Year's resolution. We have to like only eat at Burger World for 30 days like that Sherlock dude. And that's not what I'm talking about. New Year's resolution is a term for me that reminds, if you've ever had a gym membership and you know that in January and February it gets really crowded for about six weeks or so. Executive's off, we can get in the armed forces. Oh boy, I'd like to do that over. And that's because people get to the end of the year, they get motivated, they get inspired, but then they get into it and they realize, one, it's a lot of work, two, life happens and you get busy. And then if you don't have the passion and that drive to continue it, you tend to fall off the wagon. And that's what happens in that instance. So I don't really like like the term New Year's resolution. There you in a month, baby. I like to think of things as goals. And for me, I've always had this ritual where on New Year's Day, I will try to go somewhere quiet, coffee shop or something, and sit down with a notebook or a journal and just think through some ideas and figure out what I want to try to do for the next year. And this has always helped me greatly. I know that things will change and sometimes they morph and sometimes they turn into more exciting things. And I want to share this with you because I did my Rewind 2016 video earlier this week. And it was a lot of fun to do. It was a lot of work and it kind of wore me out because I realized what all I'd done this year. But in sitting back and looking at it, I realized this has been really exciting. And I never five years ago thought that that would happen, that this last year would be like it was. 
But that is a result of setting goals and figuring that out. And so setting a goal, you're at point A right now and your goal, whatever that is, getting work into a gallery, whatever, that's point B. And you've got to figure out what the roadmap looks between point A and point B, preferably what is the shortest distance. Um, and you've got to be able to account for things. That you're going to have roadblocks. You're going to have the unexpected. You're going to have things that take a long time that really start to challenge your journey between point A and point B. And it's really important that within that goal that you maintain that passion and that drive to do it. That's what ends up getting you there. And also patience. That's another big deal. This show has been a big part of my goal planning over really the last eight years. And when I started this show, I just kind of did it. I'm not really even sure why. I was trying to improve my skills in shooting video and talking about photography. And so it snowballed into this thing. And just a short story on this. Um, this was in 2010. I was, I'd done the show for two years at that point and I had a little bit of momentum and I really enjoyed doing it. I knew I had something that was interesting and something that I wanted to pursue and it had to do with photography and I really believed in it and that year I was invited to come speak at a conference in Paris and this was right around Christmas time and I rolled some of that footage in the first photograph video that I did last week but it was that conference. At that conference, the keynote speaker was a guy named Gary Vaynerchuk, which some of you probably don't know. If you don't, I will link him up in the show description. Uh, he is worth checking out. <laughs> Gary is cut from the cloth of like Zig Ziglar or Tony Robbins, but probably for a younger generation. Um, he likes to target people who are entrepreneurial in nature, and Gary is a pretty hyperactive guy, and, and he's very inspirational. He was the keynote speaker. It's the first time I ever heard him speak. And I remember sitting there and he has this thing that he says a lot and I'll see if I can find a video clip um, where you can actually hear him saying it. But it made nothing but perfect sense to me at the time, but it was very hard to hear. And one of the things he said is, I can't remember what the question was, he was responding to somebody, but it was basically like, you know, if you want to pursue your dreams or your passions or your goals, but I've got this in my life. And he said, you know, the biggest problem that people have, you need to stop doing shit you hate. And man, that just rang to me because at the time, I sort of liked my job, but I really wasn't happy with it. And I was very frustrated on a number of levels. I had this show on the side that I believed in. I was asked to come speak in Paris. It was kind of exciting, but I couldn't grab onto it for whatever reason. And so when I heard him say that, it seemed so obvious, stop doing shit you hate, right? But that's easier said than done because at that time I couldn't just quit my job. I needed the money. I financially was not in a position to do that. I didn't have the numbers on this show to go do that. And so that was a big turning point for me. But what I did realize is that, okay, it's a goal. You have point A, you have point B. You want to do this thing you love? You do it after hours. You work nine to six, you get home, you kiss the dog, and you go to town. You're into this category and there's something specific you want to do this next year. I'm gonna offer two pieces of advice here. Number one, 2017 starts today, not in three weeks or two weeks or whatever it is. It starts today. Don't wait because what happens is when you wait, the holidays come around and inevitably the problem with holidays is there's family and food and a lot of sitting around and all that stuff's great and it's okay to relax and it's okay to enjoy that. But then if you're like me, you're really antsy and you're ready to gun out at the very first of the year. And instead of a tree, <laughs> didn't your father put up an aluminum pole? A Festivus for the rest of us. Start now is what I'm saying. Make it part of your habit right now. And I know everybody's already busy right now, which is why I'm gonna offer my second piece of advice. Figure out what it is that you want to do for next year and then figure out one thing that you can do, something that's actionable, something that you actually do this week to just get the ball rolling. Usually when I get stuck on things, that's the answer. You got to do one thing to push that ball forward and then that will lead to two others that you didn't expect and then you get a little further along than you thought. And then once that ball starts slowing down again, it's not rolling anymore, that's when you have to put stuff into action. And so. You know, if you've got a really wide goal, like, you know, you want to lose weight and get into shape, that's kind of one of my goals this year, um, is that, you know, get a health club membership, get a bicycle, just do one thing that can start putting that into action. Or maybe go work out one time, see if that works. Um, if it's more specific to photography, let's say that uh, you are the person who wants to get your work into galleries this year. Okay, make a list of galleries that 
are around that you would like to have your work in. It's a long road to do that and it has nothing to do with your talent as a photographer. It's going to have to do with a lot of hustle and networking. So how do you start networking? Make a list of names. Just do one thing. Names and phone numbers. You've done one thing and you can set that into motion for moving along. Anyway, I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, I, I try to be motivational in some of these videos and I hope this isn't a little too out there in terms of um, uh, coming up with things that are unattainable. I'm trying to make it so things that you want to do next year are attainable. And that's my intention on this. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this as well. If you guys like this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to The Art of Photography so you'll always be up to date on the latest and greatest stuff that we do here. And until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Later.